Hello, my name is Victoria Lee. I'm from Mississauga and today I'm applying to the video design and production program at George Brown College. My favorite movie is Perfect Blue. This is an animated movie that follows a pop star Mima who wants to change her career and become an actress. Throughout the movie, she deals a lot with what is actually reality, kind of like who is she and what does she expect for herself versus what other people want from her. And it's kind of it's kind of a hard movie to watch because she has this whole deal with how she wants to be, but then her old fans including the stalker, can't let go of the image that she used to have. And it also kind of follows the dark reality of making a career in the entertainment industry. There's some scenes where she has to sexualize herself a lot just to get an acting role. And honestly, it's not the easiest to watch. So everyone has an online presence. Whether you're a content creator making money from making TikToks and YouTube, or you're just someone that has an Instagram account for your friends and family, I feel like there's this kind of gap between how you actually are and how your life actually is versus what you want to show other people. And I feel like the problem with people today is that you can't, they, a lot of people can't decide how much is too much, you know, because if you're too personal and you spell out everything about your life online and you're truly yourself, then I feel like it makes people feel entitled to know about your life. Or some people feel like they have this weird kind of like relationship with you now because they see your life online even though they might not actually be close with you in person but then again if you don't reveal a lot and if you kind of put on a persona then how much of it is actually you and how much of it is fake and I think that's just so interesting to think about because a lot of things are becoming online you know this I don't think this is a case of just oh social media is bad we should all stop because Let's be honest, a lot of things are going to keep moving online, so it's like, how do we deal with that? How do we deal with people having expectations for us and truly following what we want for ourselves? I don't know, I just feel like it's so interesting to think about. Another thing I like about this movie is that all the shots are just so cool to look at. I love pretty movies and pretty photos, but I feel like this one, every shot had a meaning behind it. There's a lot of imagery of having a double persona. For example, Mima the pop star versus Mima the actual person. Also, some shots just feel so eerie, such as the shot of this stalker with all the photos of her in his room, or at the beginning of the movie when there's a shot of a stalker having his hand out and it looks like she's dancing in his hand, kind of forecasting how he sees her just as a pet and how he doesn't actually see her as a person, she's just this little toy kind of for him. Which is honestly really weird to say, but I feel like that's why it makes the movie so cool. My video submission for today is a video I made for my fashion club's fashion show. This year's theme was called War and Peace, and it's based on the book War and Peace, which I, to be honest, I haven't read, but it kind of shows that no matter what happens, whether you're fighting or you know, things are okay. It just shows that love conquers all. This video is more of a lookbook video, so it's more just like showing off the looks and the makeup looks that you're gonna see at the fashion show, but I really try to make it kind of have this subtle storyline, you know? I don't think falling in love is something that is very straightforward, but it's kind of just something slow that builds up, and that's kind of how I wanted to film this video. In the future, I want to become a cinematographer or director of photography, so with this program, I want to learn how to do all aspects of film so that I can use my specialty to properly tell a story and to help tell other people's stories. I think that you can do a lot with film. I really like how with film, you can experience someone else's life without actually living it. and. I feel like you can do so much with aesthetics. I don't think that a pretty picture is only a pretty picture. I feel like it can show so much more. So I really just want to learn kind of like the workflow, other skills such as directing or editing so that I can really effectively t 
tell the stories that I want to tell. Or even if it's not my own story, I want to work in a team and just be able to properly execute other people's visions. Anyways, that's all I had to say. Thank you so much for giving me the time to talk about myself and what I want from this program and I hope that I can continue my journey at George Brown. Okay, bye!